Hello and welcome to another episode. I am Brian, the Unskilled Commander. Appreciate you checking out the video. Please subscribe to the channel, throw some likes around, all that stuff. If you wouldn't mind, I'd really, really appreciate it. And this is High Octane. This particular series is a really fun favorite of mine. It's designed to show just how fast your deck can possibly go if it has the perfect opening seven cards and then the next 10 or so cards stacked in the deck. Uh, this only has a couple because this is a pretty quick one. I don't, I didn't feel like actually having the entire deck just sitting here, but the point is this is the deck over here. And today we are looking at Imodane, the Pyro Hammer. I did a short about this and it's going to use that combination of cards in the short. I'm able to get this to go off on turn four. I, I still can't figure out exactly how to make it go any faster. I assume you need some of those zero drop artifacts that maybe that get you a lot of mana faster and then just don't worry about untapping them or whatever to speed things up. So my guess is you could get this to go off on turn three, but you can definitely get it to go off on turn four. Obviously, this assumes no interaction from the rest of the table. No one's counterspelling. No one's blowing up creatures. Nothing like that. Obviously, that doesn't really happen in the real world, but that's part of the fun thought experiment. Like, what happens if everyone else's decks just kind of go like normal or maybe stall out a little bit and yours goes crazy? What could it possibly do? So let's go ahead and jump in. So for turn one, obviously you're going to draw a card, but we're going to play a land, tap that into a soul ring, tapping the soul ring into a ruby medallion. So red spells cost one less to cast. Obviously, Imodane is a mono red deck, so that's going to come in really handy. We pass turn, it goes around the table, everyone plays a land, everyone's making jokes about the crazy turn one play, and it comes back to us. We draw a card for turn, we then play, well of course we untap, we do things right, we play a land for turn, then we're going to tap 1, 2, 3, 4 to play Thran Dynamo. Taps for 3 colorless mana. We're going to tap that 3 colorless mana into a command sphere. Taps for one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. You can sacrifice it to draw a card, but that's not relevant to the uh, the high octane. We then pass turn again. Goes around the table. Everyone's getting a little concerned about the ramp, but most people aren't really going to be considered that too much. They'll just maybe make some more jokes. Maybe we take. Maybe they even uh, you know attack us for one or two or something with some creatures. You take the damage, no concern. Turn three, you draw the final card that's going to matter. And, of course, untap first, then draw the card. We play one more land, then we're going to tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to play Gilded Lotus. Tap to add 3 mana of any one color. Then we're going to tap for 3 red mana, then 1, 2, 3, 4, with red spells costing 1 less off of Ruby Medallion, to cast the enchantment City on Fire. You can convoke to get it out, but we don't have any creatures out. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals triple that damage instead. Obviously, that's going to have people really concerned. But you're going to pass turn. goes around the table. You're taking a bunch more hits now because everyone's focusing on you for sure. comes back around to turn four. You untap. Then you draw. The last card you draw is kind of irrelevant. We'll just assume it's a land or something. And you now are going to go for the win. We are going to tap... Two, color, two red mana and command sphere because red spells cost one less to cast. We cast Imodane, the Pyro Hammer. A 4-4, four, four. whenever an instant or sorcery spell you control that targets only a single creature deals damage to that creature, Imodane deals that much damage to each opponent. And now, the final spell. We're going to tap for three red mana and one other, which makes four because it costs one less, and we cast Shivan Meteor. Shivan Meteor deals 13 damage to target creature. We target any creature on the board other than Imodane, of course. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it's indestructible. Doesn't matter if it is just a 1-1, one -one, because it's still going to deal the full 13 damage, even if it is a 1-1. One -one. So we target someone's commander. We target someone's token. Doesn't matter. Shivan Meteor then deals 13 damage to it. But City on Fire is going to triple that damage up to 39 damage to the creature. Creature most likely dies, but more importantly, Imodane is going to see that 39 damage 
and it's going to deal that to each opponent. However, City on Fire is going to trigger and make that 39 damage, 117 damage to each opponent, taking them out of the game instantly, and you win, all on turn four. I, I love the concept. I love the deck. It's a lot of fun. It's obviously going to get you a lot of hate early on, because as soon as people realize how good Emma Dane is, you're going to start being a target pretty quick, especially if you try and get a damage doubler or tripler out like City on Fire. That's going to get blown up immediately or countered or something. Shiva Meteor, of course, is a great card for a single target within this deck, so that'll get countered or something. But as a thought experiment for High Octane, it's a lot of fun, and it smashes on turn four. Like I said, there's probably a way to get it tweaked up to turn three, and of course that's just for, you know, perfect storm situation. So even if you'd put some of those zero costs in the deck, you would have to, like, completely retool the deck that I have in order to make it actually try and do this consistently on turn three or four. Like, the entire deck would have to be built around it. And that's way too much bother and kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it, honestly. You know, it'd be cool if something like this goes off just naturally, but I'm not trying to make a, a CEDH deck, and I'm not even sure if it would really qualify, you know, because even then, I'm not sure how easy it would be to make it that consistent. But regardless... Appreciate you guys watching. I hope you saw some cool cards. I hope you like the combo. It's not a, a combination, but the, the synergy with these three cards. Maybe put it in one of your decks, or maybe build your own Imodade deck. Let me know in the comments how you do it. Thanks, and I will see you next time.